Today we got some fresh news for Samsung fans, especially those rocking the Galaxy S25 series. So here's the deal. Samsung officially opened the One UI 8.0 beta program back in May, based on Android 16. Since then, we've already seen four beta updates, and the fifth one was expected to be the last before the stable rollout. But guess what? A new beta version has just been spotted on Samsung servers. According to tipster Taran Vats, the software carries version number S938BXXU5ZUH9. That means we're now looking at a sixth beta release for the Galaxy S25 lineup. Now, Samsung hasn't revealed exactly what this update brings, but as always, we can expect bug fixes, performance improvements, and maybe even a few hidden features. Since the stable version is rumored to be just around the corner, this sixth beta could very well be the final test build before the big public release. So if you're part of the beta program, keep an eye out, it could be dropping any time now. And for those waiting on the stable One UI 8, the good news is, it's almost here. What do you guys think? Should Samsung keep pushing out extra betas to polish things up? Or should they just roll out the stable version already? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell so you don't miss any of the latest Samsung updates. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Samsung has just dropped the fifth One UI 8.0 beta update for the Galaxy S25 series, and while it fixes a ton of bugs, there's also a fun little feature in here that you're definitely going to want to try out. It's called Adaptive Clock, and honestly, it brings a whole new vibe to your lock screen. So what is it? Basically, the lock screen clock now changes its size, shape, and orientation depending on the subject in your wallpaper. If you've got a person, a pet, or any object clearly visible, the clock will adapt to the space around it, making your lock screen look way more dynamic and alive. Here's the cool part, when you move the clock around in the customization screen, it literally reshapes itself based on the outline of the subject in the wallpaper. It's a small detail, but it makes the whole lock screen feel a lot more personalized. Now if you want to try this out, here's how. Head into lock screen customization. Tap on the clock, pick a simple design, not the super fancy ones. In the Font and Color tab, select the second option with Animations. Then, under Style, you can go with a stacked or horizontal design depending on your preference. And here's a pro tip. Turn on the AOD wallpaper feature. The transition from Always On Display to your lock screen looks really slick with Adaptive Clock enabled. It might be a minor update on paper, but honestly, it's these little touches that make the One UI experience stand out. So what do you think? Is Adaptive Clock a cool addition or just a gimmick? Drop your thoughts in the comments, and let's talk about it.